hey, this is Joe Price. Uh, we just loaded some new content into reverse indexing. And so I wanted to show that to you so you can try it out if you want. We'll be loading a lot more content uh, really soon. Uh, so let me share my screen. So if you haven't used reverse indexing before, this is what it looks like. Uh, and right now we just loaded um, a bunch of predictions about birthplace. And I just wanted to emphasize that with birthplace, what we want to make possible is the ability to search and get the correct birthplace. So we're not going to be actually transcribing letter for letter. We're just trying to uh, capture all the ways that um, each birthplace might be represented. So you can see here is Connecticut. And, and actually, this highlights just how uh, helpful reverse indexing can be, because if someone had to uh, actually try to transcribe these letter for letter, you can see that they might actually really struggle trying to read those little scribbles. But if you know that all of these is a birthplace in a US census record, then it really narrows down the possibilities. And so even though any one of these is really hard to read, it's pretty easy to tell that all of these represent Connecticut. And so, um, so then in this case, I don't see any that are wrong. So I would just hit submit and it just pulls up the next one. And you can see, again, it's pretty quick to tell that all of these are correct as well. It's really easy to see that all of these are correct. And you'll see that like when it's wrong, it'll stick out really fast. Okay, so now here's gonna give me another one. And so now, um, so now I've got to kind of train my brain to think about a new place, which is Missouri. And you can see Missouri is going to be much, much harder uh, because of the fact that it could be like M-I-S-S -S might represent uh, something else. So actually, this one looks really hard, um, which is okay. So I might just uh, try something uh, different. Uh, you can see here's Hungary, and you can see that like New Jersey popped out pretty fast. And then we can see here, you can see Germany kind of popped out pretty fast. And then we'll hit the next one. So here's California. Again, California doesn't have a lot of things that might get confused with. So all these caliphs are going to be just fine. Let's see, as we scroll across, you can see that actually this turns what would normally be a really difficult read letter by letter and try to transcribe it into an actually a pretty fast, easy task. And I think the key thing is that we're focusing on one field. Uh, with a very limited uh, dictionary. There's only, in the US, we only record birth state or country. You sometimes see other things, but usually it falls into this very narrow uh, dictionary. And so it actually allows me to move through California pretty fast. As you can see that actually, this is a really neat way to do the validation step. Uh, so just to give you context here, a machine has been trying to read this field of birthplace, and then it uh, puts all the predictions into buckets. And so this is the bucket for California. And what we are doing is we are simply just tossing out the ones that don't belong. And so the cool thing then is if you look at your stats, so I've already done 872 and maybe I was working for, I, I don't know, maybe you can see that um, actually you can move through uh, these very quickly. Uh, and we'll be loading other content soon. But if you come, if you click on random data, these are the different categories. And so I think birthplace is a really good place for beginners to start. And again, like we saw with Missouri, Missouri looked kind of hard. And so if you want, you could even type in, I don't know if we have Oregon in here, but uh, you know, I'm from Oregon. And so this is interesting where, uh, and actually this is really helpful. If you ever see this happen, then just click all of them wrong. And that will help us know right away that we did not do a very good job with uh, Oregon, at least on those slides right there. Uh, but that'll be great because then uh, we are still getting Oregon right some of the time. And so that's good for us to know which ones we're getting it right. And then good to know the ones that we're not uh, doing very well at. So you can see there that we can quickly clean out uh, the bad ones. So I'm glad I typed in Oregon so you can kind of see what, what it looks like when it goes when it goes bad. So thanks for helping with this. We don't. We've only loaded five thousand images right now, but we'll be we'll be loading a whole bunch more really soon. And so, if you want to give it a try, we'd love to have your help with this project.